yeah, I've heard a lot of good things about this game. And I know very little about it. I know, like, you're kind of in space, and I think there's some exploration focus, but I really don't know much about this game. Let's get started. Oh, never mind, we have to load. Press X to wake up. Hey you, you're finally awake. Oh my god. <laughs> Look at them, they're cool. There's our pilot, back from your pre-launch campout under the stars, I see. So it's launch day, eh? Seems like only yesterday you joined the space program. And suddenly here you are, leaving on your first solo voyage. Anyway, you'll need to get the launch codes from Hornfuls at the observatory before you can lift off. Just bring those here once you've said your goodbyes or whatever. We can also press X to roast marshmallow. Hell yeah. Oh sh- <laughs> Uh, <laughs> a little burnt. Wait, that's a weird jump mechanic. Oh look, I'm- I am alien. I can see my alien body. Want to give it a test drive? Slate says it's just like the real thing, only less likely to start a fire. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I think I broke- I think I broke it. I won, I think. Wow, that was just like the time the external fuel tanks exploded on re-entry. You'll, you'll be okay flying the big one, right? Yeah, I'm, I'm super good at flying. Go! Oh shoot! <laughs> you can actually eat yourself on that. Oh, I broke my legs. Wait, I actually died. I actually died. We, we don't get to go to space, bad ending. Hello there, space cadet. I hear you're leaving the crater today. If you meet any of the other travelers up there, remind them to take proper care of their instruments, won't you? Parkour. <laughs> oh shoot. Yo. Yo, parkour. Gabbro told me about their first trip to Giant's Deep. As though exercising a will of his own, the water was refusing to let Gabbro go any deeper. It held Gabbro back, as if it were trying to protect them from something. And then, in the terrible darkness, Gabbro saw it. The tentacle of some hideous beast. Ah! What the heck? You know the patch of ghost matter inside this fence? Gosson said it used to be bigger when they were a hatchling. Because ghost matter evaporates. Ghost matter is awesome. What the heck? What is, what is ghost matter? <laughs> It'll burn the heck out of you. It's dangerous. Alright, so don't go in there unless we want another bad ending. Last night I heard... Rebex Banjo coming from the Brittle Hollow. I hope that means they're safe. I actually really like that. We can, like, find signals in space. That's cool. Outer Wilds Ventures founding members. Clockwise from top left. Hornfills, Gossen, Slate, and Feldspar. Hey, hey, it's my favorite astronaut. Launch day at last. Huh, buddy? It's the translator tool's inaugural flight, too. I'm so excited, it's making me nauseous. You'll be able to translate any no my text you want, anywhere you are. Can't get your dying to head out into space, but seriously, you've got to see the statue before you go. It's an amazing find. What the hell is this thing? <laughs> oh, I started midway through a presentation here. <laughs> what the heck is happening? Whoa, this tool looks interesting. Nearly ready. Felix and I have finished construction, and she says calibrating the device won't take long. Fortunately, the Adelrock's lack of atmosphere will make calibration simple. After all this time, I'm thrilled to finally resume our search. This piece of Nomai writing was essential to deciphering their unique language. Interestingly, each branch tends to be written by a different author. Wait, that's so cool. <laughs> their language is like drawn like art. That's awesome. Whoa. <laughs> I was just looking at the map. Jeez. It's our solar system. Can we leave the solar system? We're better equipped than ever to unravel the mysteries of the Nomai. Well then, looks like all that's left is to send you off. All in all, it's a fine day for lunch. I'm ready to die in space. I'm not one for superstition, but isn't that kind of unlucky to say before the launch? This rock exists in all possible states until it is observed. What the hell? Okay, I don't like that. 
What? Uh, is this going to be a horror game? The statue looked at me and opened its eyes. Whoa, whoa, the statue is doing what? Listen, no offense, but are you sure you're okay to launch? Like, medically speaking. Alright. Here we go. This is complicated. Oh. Oh my god. We're in space. Oh shit, there's the sun. <laughs> I'm heading straight towards the sun. Don't lock onto the sun. Let's go to the moon. Oh my god, I am terrible at flying this. It's apparently an autopilot. It knows what it's doing a lot more than I do. The moon. Okay. Definitely need that suit. It's pretty important. Um, and now we're on the moon. Or is that the moon? We might have several moons. Yo, look at the sun. Oh, it's dark. Okay, this is spooky. Okay, we found something. What is this? Whoa. Whoa! Okay. We've got some kind of puzzle. Wait, what's happening? Dude, I don't know what's happening. <laughs> Whoa. I was upstairs testing the eye signal locator, and it can hear and follow the signals from the sun. Giant's Deep and Brittle Hollow. However, something strange is happening when I ask the eye signal locator to follow the eye signal. The device indicator rotates wildly and never points to just one direction. We want to find the exact location of the eye of the universe. The eye. Where should this new, more sophisticated locator be built? The southern glacier on Brittle Hollow has ample available space. Is this the eye? Oh, it's definitely the eye. Okay, we're just gonna not do that. That kind of spooks me, to be honest. What is that? Okay, there's a lot more on here. We're gonna... We're gonna explore these. <laughs> I like that there's just this normal-looking house here. Wait, what? Do you not have a... Sh oh, because there's trees. Oh, hey, it's you. Ground control didn't tell me you were launching. Long time no see. Lunar outpost saw more traffic back when our ships were less sophisticated and needed more frequent repairs. Nowadays it's mostly used to keep a set of eyes on things. What the heck? Why does that look so like red all of a sudden? Day 48. Still not picking up Ryvex Banjo from Brittle Hollow. I'm sure they're fine, but I'll feel better once I can hear their music. Is... is that coming closer to me? Today I thought I heard something strange. I don't know. It's probably nothing. What? Excuse me? Hold up.
I still know the launch codes. Did did I just die? Whoa, bad dream or something? You still look half asleep, but that's a negative on being deceased. So, I kind of was piecing it together, but I wanted to finish reading the lore. <laughs> I was like, okay, there was that there was that diagram of like the stars and how they change color and then explode. And the sun was turning red and I'm like, okay. I have a theory. I'm gonna talk about it after the lore tablet is done. And then I just died before I could even finish reading, so... Yeah. But it appears we keep progress, and we just have to try and, uh, you know... I guess we have a new goal, and that's to save our planet slash solar system. So yeah, I did not know um, we were on a time limit here. Okay, I know this is crazy, but the sound from Timberhearth sounds exactly like Feldspar's harmonica. But Feldspar disappeared in space ages ago. It can't be them. That's the harmonica, right? Is that our homeland? Oh, this is our homeland. Home planet right here. So it's in multiple places. Okay, well, I'm on a time limit. I should be going. <laughs> uh, let's go to the other moon. Velocity matched. Oh, there we go. There we go. There we go. There we go. Wait, is this like a gas planet? Okay. <laughs> Cannot land on that. What the shit is happening? Oh. <laughs> what is that? Ghost matter detected nearby. The sunless city. Oh. There's a lot. Okay, well I can't go in there. Interesting. This planet sometimes and only sometimes has a moon. It's also of note, it disappears if no one is watching it. Isn't that a fascinating orbital characteristic? Given its reluctance to move while consciously observed, it might be a form of macroscopic quantum mechanics. The quantum moon locator is functioning. We have markers for each of the places the moon goes. I thought the locator had accounted for all of the phantom moon's locations, but sometimes the locator can't tell where the moon is. It's also possible that there's a sixth place in the star system to which the phantom move travels. It's freaking weird. Why does this moon just teleport places. How do I unlock onto this? Oh, here. Up! Ah! Nailed the landing. <laughs> oh, we got some exploration done. Explore home planet? You know what? Let's do that. Oh, shoot! Ow. What the hell is this? Is that a dark bramble seed? Think so? It's nothing I've ever seen on Timber Hearth before. Whoa, what the hell? Is that all in there? Where does that go? Oh! Oh! This is where the weird signal from the harmonica is coming from. Inside the seed? Huh, don't know what to tell you there. The only harmonica player I know is Feldspar, and they disappeared ages ago. There's a place inside here that I can check out, I guess. Oh shit! <laughs> look at that! Look at that landing, dude. Flawless. <laughs> what is this? is this like a mine or something? I'm still amazed by how much ore the Ash Twin Project requires. The ore we're mining here will be used to craft an immensely thick protective shell that will physically seal off the chamber inside Ash Twin's core. If eventually life on this planet were to evolve to the point of advanced metallurgy, I'm confident we won't have destroyed their ability to create. Hey, that's us! <laughs> 
Whoa, 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 whoa. I don't know what that's about. This game is super cool, by the way. <laughs> Have I said that already? You know what we don't need to land? Landing mode. <laughs> to our friends on Brittle Hollow, I just warped here from the White Hole Station. On the other side of Brittle Hollow's Black Hole. Our design worked. We successfully recreated warp travel. Are we going to be jumping through black holes later? It's weird. These things died in very weird places. Like, this one's just chilling on a, on a seat, and it died? That seems like something... That doesn't seem natural cause to me. Whoa. Oh my god. Okay, there's just a black hole in there. Okay. That's fine. I think the way in is... Underneath it. And we all know what that... That's gonna mean. This is crazy. What the hell? Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh! Oh, you launched. That's great. Good job, you. I've been gouging the stability of the ground around me using my little scout. And this seems to be the place with the best surface integrity. So I'm just going to stay here until I'm ready to move on. Excuse me? This might be the coolest game I've played. Welcome to the White Hole Station. You fell through the black hole by accident. <laughs> yes. Don't worry, you aren't the first. This warp tower can return you to Brittle Hollow. Every warp tower is tuned to a specific astral body. A tower's warp can only be used during the brief window when the tower is aligned with its corresponding astral body. Oh shit! Autopilot, Jesus. Wait, there's something there I didn't... I never saw. No one was badly injured from the escape pod's impact. We're incredibly fortunate. It's good news, at least. Have we heard from escape pod 2 or 3? Unable to make contact, my equipment can hear the other two escape pod's distress signals. Escape pod 1, vessel has been mortally injured. Waiting departure from the vessel. Whoa! <laughs> Yeet the door. Oh, I'm breaking things. Oh, shit. I didn't even notice this. Be welcomed in this place. Above you stands the Tower of Quantum Knowledge. If you're making your first pilgrimage to the Quantum Moon, ascend these stairs and obtain the last knowledge you need for your journey. These stairs? Whoa. Okay, well, that's problematic. Oh. Epic. Ah! Oh my god. <laughs> Dude, this is tipped! This is tipped! I don't even have my- oh, I don't have my space outfit. Wow. Where is the surface? Oh my gosh. It was just clouds. Yo, this is cool. Nice, it's you. Good to see you made it here in one piece. The first solo launch is a doozy, isn't it? So hey, don't freak out or anything. 
but lately I keep, like, dying repeatedly. I don't know, it's pretty weird. What about you? Have you died lately, or is it just me? <laughs> no, it's me too. We're in a time loop. The statue opened its eyes and started glowing. It replayed my memories like I'd seen them through my own eyes. You too, huh? Then the Nomai statues must have something to do with why we're the only ones aware of a time loop. What? The shit? Why? Why are you not even mentioning this happening? Yeah, all the way down to the core. Consider yourself conquered, Giant's Deep. You just got Feldsparred. Alright, so that's one more off the list. Seems that all that's left is the big one now, Dark Bramble. Here I come. Yeah, there's water stopping you from going there. I don't know if this is worth staying and exploring, because... Doesn't seem to be a lot here. Whoa! 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 There's something in there. Yes! 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 Be welcome in this place. The tower shares with all who ask knowledge needed to make his or her first quantum journey. More spooky rocks. Oh! Observing a quantum object, observing an image of a quantum object, these are the same. Wait, so what does this even help me with? What? Oh, so if I look at the picture, it stays there? Why does this matter at all? Why do I have to learn about quantum rocks? How does this help me? We offer our congratulations. You've learned the rule of quantum imaging. Take this knowledge with you on the remainder of your quantum pilgrimage. You walk in the footsteps of those who came before you, and your path guides those who will follow later. There's a quantum rock in there. Should I be scared of these things? I shouldn't, right? They're just rocks. Friends, if you find any sign of Coleus, I implore you to tell me. He vanished without a trace during our research trip. He's been missing ever since. He disappeared in the cave at the bottom of the dry lake bed at the North Pole. It happened in an instant without warning. Hmm, oh, it's you. I take it your first launch went well, then? Welcome to the Hourglass Twins. Hornfells noticed our star charts are out of date, so I came here to update them. Something seems... how to put this? Ah, I've seen, what, ten supernovae? Twelve? They're in the double digits now, and that's, you know, not normal. Not normal at all. There's not really anything going on here. Could maybe fly into the center? Okay, we've seen this before. This is like that thing on the home planet. Bored. What's that one, by the way? What is this planet? Why is it not marked? Is this the moon? Is this the moon? What is this? Oh my god. Never mind. This is an actual planet. Um, okay. No, this is the moon. This is the moon. I think just move. Oh god. I saw this before, and I flew into it, and then it disappeared. I'm like, what the hell? Why did that just disappear? And I knew nothing about the moon or anything. So my guess was that this was the quantum moon, and since I already learned the photo thing, we're called the rule of quantum imaging. Call the rule of the sixth location. Yeah, well, I haven't done that one yet. Quantum entanglement. See, I know all these, and then... There's that. A comet! 
Wait, this is more this is more interesting. Well, there must be secrets on this comet. See? <laughs> it seems the comet wishes to submerge our shuttle in ice. If we stay on the surface too long, the shuttle may freeze entirely. If you don't mind waiting here with it, Poke and I can continue to investigate the surface. Oh! Yo! <laughs> Alright, I'm out of here. Peace. No. Not me. Eat my ship, not me. Why am I going towards this? Uh. Okay. How many of these are there? Pretty lights. Uh. No! Okay. Good. We're gonna need some more knowledge, probably, to avoid getting bored. I don't think I've been here. Oh my gosh. Well, we're about to be there at like a billion miles an hour. So, oh, there's a thing. There's a thing. Holy shit. <laughs> we'll deliver more ore to the Hollow's Lantern immediately. We must be fired up about crafting the Ash Twins Project Protective Shell. It will be significantly more. The smallest crack or opening in the protective shell would destroy everything. Well, we're gonna try and explore this place again. Remember this being hell. Oh my! Okay. Okay. Cool. Awesome. The f entire <laughs> island my ship was on just collapsed. The eye. The eye. This knowledge is too dear to lose. Here's everything we can recall about the signal we encountered while aboard the vessel. The signal was older than the universe itself. This is the most significant detail. Imagine what rare and profound knowledge it might offer. We must find this eye of the universe. Um, what is that? <laughs> what is that thing? That looks spooky. I believe we should migrate to the northern glacier. Building beneath the crust again would shelter us from the volcanic moon's eruptions. What if we use gravity crystals to craft a stable path? Whoa, this is crazy. Oh! What just happened? What just happened? Okay, there we go, there we go. This path is crazy. Oh my gosh, okay, we found more buildings. Can't go down there either. It's There's like these weird rocks wherever the ghost matter is. This universe will eventually keep getting colder and larger until one day the stars and the life they support will all die. That's scary to think about, even though Kanoi tells me it won't happen in our lifetimes. But it'll happen in someone else's someday. How on earth? Okay, we're not on Earth. How on Brittle Hollow? <laughs> I like how the Nomai are just like... <laughs> they just explore space and do sciencey things. Dude, I want to explore space and do sciencey things. And have three eyes. Those are all desirable things. Coleus and his old mentor once discovered and studied an anglerfish fossil on Ember Twin. Using that knowledge, we could avoid the anglerfish entirely. Oh? Anglerfish skelly. Somewhere on this planet. I can hear both signals somewhere in this star system, but I don't believe either skate pod crashed on the same planet as us. What the heck is this? We found an enormous cavern at the end of this passage that appears promising. I believe we could construct long term shelter there. Do not follow this tunnel to its end. Coleus and I examined the horror that lies. It's terminus later, provided we live through this. Horror. Yep, there it is. There it is. Nice. 
How do I get in here with it, though? Gimme trees! Oh my god! Gimme trees, gimme trees, gimme trees, gimme trees. Trees! <laughs> Should we build the sun station to power the Ash Twin project? If we fail, and the probability of this is not insignificant, we will without question destroy ourselves, all life here, and the rest of this star system. I wish to protect these species. I understand that this proposal is unsettling, but the sun station must be built if we are to hope to complete the Ash Twin project. Did they nuke the sun? Is that what... is it their fault? I don't know why everyone says the eye is important. They say it brought us to this solar system, but is that good? Dad told me lots of Nomai died when our clan came here. What if the eye wanted that to happen? What if the eye isn't something good? This is like kid writing. And it's all scribbly. That's where all the ghosts are. Why does that have the eye on it? Okay, I feel like the eye murdered everyone at this point. I think the eye somehow killed their entire species, and I'm kind of scared. You have to go the long way, but it isn't far. Go to the stepping stone cave and then up into the fossil fish cave. Should I put my my picture in here? We'll just do that. It's supposedly in here. Oh. Come on, come on. Oh, okay, okay. Never mind, I underestimate my boost power. Rule change, the anglerfish now has to wear a blindfold and do not peek. Why are we changing it? It's too hard if you can't see anything. And Pi says real anglerfish are blind. So you have to wear a blindfold. This rule stands. I guess I just won't move at all and hope I go flying in the right direction. And if I don't, then I'm screwed. I don't know. So I'll try to just fly straight in and just not move at all. Watch this. We're gonna go zoom in. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> no. Down, 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 down. Up, up, up. Hands off the controller. Am I heading the right way? I think a red light. Last time when we ejected, we made it through the red light. And it seemed to be where we had to go. Good. See, how do you do this? <laughs> how do you do this? Hello, cuties. I'm just gonna sneak through here, okay? Just gonna... be going this way. It's a nice, nice uh, planet you got here. Very spacious. Good decorations. What the hell is this? Grapes. I found the hidden grape uh, stash. Why are they trying to eat me if they have all these grapes? Come on. Is this just egg? Okay, I accomplished nothing getting here and I don't know what to do. Should I try again and like try and follow the signal instead? Oh! It's up there. Bitch. Get blocked. No, you prick! I was right there. <laughs> Only one light? I still don't trust it. I still don't trust it. That's an anglerfish light. I'm going into its mouth. I thought the whole point of this was to avoid the vor. Not just end up in it anyways. Is this thing alive? There's no way this thing is alive. There's literally trees growing in its mouth. Could maybe land a bit better than this. Slightly better, just like... Just like here, maybe? I mean... It's a pretty good landing. Where'd you come from? No one's come here in... well, ever, actually. That makes you the second Hirthian to ever reach Dark Bramble. After me, of course. Well done. Yeah, that's right, I'm alive. Been camping out here since my ship, uh, you know, crashed violently. My story goes like this. I just finished exploring the core of Giant's Deep. 
and I wanted to try my hand at Dark Bramble, seeing as no one had ever been before. Giant Steep's core, huh? Ah, that's a wild one. Since you're asking, I gotta assume you haven't made it down there yourself yet, right? If I tell you how, it kind of feels like cheating. <laughs> hmm. On a completely unrelated note, that sure was a big hollow vine my ship crashed into. Yeah. You want to go to the tail end of this anglerfish skeleton here and look for a flickering light in the fog. That'll be my old ship. Path starts there. Whoa. I'm regretting this. Whoa, 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 whoa. Never thought I'd see one of these species outside of Giant's Deep. They were awfully useful back there. Maybe a jellyfish could be useful here too. <laughs> it's just stabbed in. Note to Feldspar, do not eat this even if you are dying. It would be too sad if this were the last thing you ever ate in this way. I guess these jellyfish are only useful for insulation from electricity. Again, do not eat. Love Feldspar. I'm gonna try and get that thing in the sun, I guess. It's so fast. It's so fast. How the heck am I gonna land on that thing? Why? It's sucking me. It's sucking me. It like pulls me in. <laughs> I don't really know how to freaking get there though, and I doubt I'll be able to land on it with the sun's gravity and how fast it moves. Let's try and find lake bed. That's It's where the dude is. I don't like this. You know, someone disappeared down here and also there's sand that fills this up very soon. Oh! Quantum cactus. <laughs> Schrodinger's cactus. Oh! That's quantum too. Nothing is real. If you've come here to look for Collius, this is where we were when he vanished. He's been missing for two days now. We're examining the different rocks. I recall Collius standing on the largest one, the wandering rock. I was taking notes, and then my lantern died. When I lit it again, Collius and the rock were both gone. Yo! Teleport rocks! I wonder if I myself became quantum briefly when the rock carried me here. This seems the clearest explanation. Hypothesis, if the rock can bring me here, it can also carry me out. Friends, Coleus has discovered a new quantum rule. He has promised me he'll never vanish again, even if he does learn something useful from it. Oh! Hooked it. Are you kidding me? It took me through the ceiling. All right, guys, you ready for it? We're going to get back. We're going to yeet ourselves back onto that planet. We just got to wait for it to line up. <laughs> we made it. <laughs> Some time has passed since I checked in with Yupai. How are you and Idea progressing with the Sun Station plan? Presently, my assessment is that our plan will either fail explosively or succeed explosively. I want to go to the Sun Station, but I don't know how to get there. Why is this overrun with cacti? You guys ready for some skillful flying? <laughs> Great. Where is this warping me? Not to the sun station, apparently. 281,000 years ago, no user commands received for 10 minutes. All systems entering sleep. 9 minutes 8 seconds ago, increased solar activity detected. Sun station hall integrity approaching critical levels. Closing emergency doors. 
Yep, we're here. We are here. Oh, damn. Metal, 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 metal. I believe I'm dead. Wait. Orbit. Orbit. Well, bye. <laughs> nice. This is insane. The sun is just right there. What happened? Did the sun station not fire? It fired the arrow, but it failed. The sun barely responded. The sun station is useless. It will never and could never cause the sun to explode. But I never wished the device would fail. I'd hope our terrible work was finished. Why you do this, though? Stars reached the end of a natural life cycle. Now approaching red giant stage. Warning, evacuate sun station. Oh. <laughs> I forgot we're so close to the sun that, like, immediately it just gets destroyed. Welcome to Giant's Deep, friends. I'm excited for you to meet the statues. If I'm not in my dwelling, I'm likely in my workshop below, inside the island. I'm gonna try going underwater. Underwater! That's as low as I can get. Um, okay, bye. Where's that? Oh. There's a hundred percent away under there. Do you see that? Let's go. <laughs> Yara, would you kindly step back so Daz is closest to the statue? When pairing, the statue will choose whoever is in closest proximity. See how its eyes have opened? That tells us the statue has been paired with Daz. Now no matter where he is in the star system, Daz's statue will record his memories and send them to the Ash Twin Project. So that's the thing that I saw at the start, the statue. Like, are you telling me it's just my memories that are being repeated? It's not me? Am I actually dead? Oh, one of these. What happens if I end while in this, I hear the sun. What the heck? What? Okay, that was weird. It almost seemed like it took longer and there was like something in the top. There was some strange visual in the top. Oxygen hull damage. God. There's more damages. I can't get to it. What the heck? This is a great challenge to repair anything on this planet. There <laughs> we go. Wait. I still can't reach it. I'm gonna waste my entire day trying to fix this oxygen thing. Where is it? Which one is it? No way! No way! <laughs> yes! Yes! <laughs> yes! <laughs> yes. My hull is damaged. That's fine. Who cares about the hull? That's like the least important part of the ship. Watch this. I don't even need to uh, be buckled right now. Oh, the skid. 
Yo. Oh, shoot. Did I land? Hell yeah. <laughs> Who this? Ow! A cactus has attacked me from behind. What a savage creature. My ship is sideways. Oh shit. What does that mean? Reactor? Up! Oh. Yep. <laughs> it just yeeted me into the sky. I'm fine. The front seems to just be completely nothing. Oh, it's melting. Yeah, you see that, like... The front definitely has ice, but to me it doesn't seem like there's any indication of... something being there. Oh, look at this. What the hell? There's a way in. Whoa! Ice slides! <laughs> Oh shoot! Oh... Wyanst. I'm receiving much stronger energy readings now that we're beneath the crest. Whatever it is must lie somewhere below, closer to the comet's center. And I'm starting to think it's more dangerous than we realize. Scout! The way ahead! What are you doing? You're stuck! What?! Hello? <laughs> Hello, dead person. Oh my gosh. What is this? What the heck? I've never encountered anything like this casing. But it's all that's protecting us from what's inside. Worse still, this matter is disturbingly volatile. This is orders of magnitude worse than I'd imagined. If the stone were to rupture, the lethal matter within would rapidly expand, completely blanketing the star system almost instantaneously. Okay, well we know where the ghost matter is from. It's from this frickin' comet. There's a... landing pad on this. Whoa, this looks crazy. Giving the orbital probe cannon all the power it can structurally withstand creates the greatest chance of finding the eye of the universe. Orbital probe cannon damage report. Severe structural stress detected, accessing damage to modules. Viewport window fractured. Module exposed to vacuum of space. Oh boy. Probe tracking module missing. Okay, let's go, um, to the broken area then. Oh! Wait. <laughs> yeah, we can't even go in here. But there's stuff in there. I could probably get in there from, like, space. There we go. There we go. The probe tracking module will be the first to know the coordinates of the eye of the universe. You'll be the first to see them. You won't ask the orbital probe cannon to use so much power that it breaks, will you? Hmm. <laughs> we won't be capable of receiving our probe's data if the probe tracking module is destroyed. Well, seems like that's what happened. Probe tracking module. Uh Where the hell is this thing? Looks like the module's underwater. You can see purple electricity. Yeah, that's probably giant steep. Knoi, Daz, and I were lifting over the probe cannon components into orbit for assembly, and one somehow sank down beneath the ocean. The spire contracted a model of giant steep here at the Brittle Hollow's southern observatory, and it reveals how an object might sink below the current. Think I can make this? Nice jump. Alright. Go! Yo, let's go! Most cyclones on giant deeps rotate clockwise. There are the cyclones Casava typically uses to send components into orbit. There also exists a rarer type of cyclone that spins the opposite direction, pushes objects beneath the waters below the current. 
All right, to Giant Deep's core. Let's go. We're finally going. Left, 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 right. So I know I'm supposed to use the jellies, right? Ow. That didn't work. Oh? Well, this is where it is, isn't it? Yeah, it's down here. Deep space anomaly matching all known criteria for Eye of the Universe found by probe 9318054. Retrieving stored coordinates from Ash Twin. Displaying coordinates for Eye of the Universe. This seems important, but I don't know what this means. <laughs> I found it! I found it! Escape pod 3. Vessel has been mortally injured. We've held out as long as we could here, but this pod supply of breathable air is nearly depleted, and the anglerfish attack more and more frequently. Our best chance at survival is to return the vessel to either repair the damage or, more probably, await rescue. Oh no. Doesn't appear that they made it. To any who come here searching for us, we followed one of the two beacons from the vessel to this place, but now can go no further. I don't understand how this could be possible, but this gruesome place seems able to manipulate space itself. Maybe this was our undoing. Oh. Oops, sorry about that. I don't think any are here. But I'm just being safe. Well, didn't turn out so well for these guys either. I don't have my ship to look at the, the picture. <laughs> I have to draw the symbols. Bep, bep, bep. That's it. The warp core looks broken. A little bit. I'm sure it's fine. So I need to come back with a warp core? It's probably something to do with uh, Ash Twin, isn't it? Successfully forged an advanced warp core. Wait, that's what I need, right? How the heck am I going to get here, though? <laughs> There's no knowledge on how to get here. And here's where I can't get in. Like, should I just wait? And see what happens to the, the tower? I think the tower might collapse at some point. And I guess I could follow it, right? There's not really much time left. Oh! We're doing it! We're doing it! Welcome, Selenium. Or, Selenium. Your arrival here means you've completed your preparations on Giant Steep and ready to depart for the Quantum Moon. On your pilgrimage, the Quantum Moon will carry you, just as it carried me and many in our clan before me to the moon's sixth and most secret location. You'll be abided in your pilgrimage by the shrine our clan built in the quantum moon. But remember this final rule. To explore the sixth location, the shrine must be on the moon's north pole. Oh, I need a picture, I need a picture, I need a picture. Hold up. What the heck? Wait. I haven't landed here before. What is this? So last time we were here, I ended up in like a valley. And... I haven't actually looked around this, like, watery part. Shit. Oh my god. These are the dangers of quantum movement. You know, it is kind of dark in here, isn't it?
Does the moon change depending on where it is? And one of these versions of the planet, I can go to the north. Oh? I'm kind of scared, but also very curious. Oh my god! <laughs> Who are you? When I was a child, I used to believe... The eye was malevolent. To have lured my clan to the star system only to then vanish from them so completely. But I don't fear the eye anymore. In fact, it became my fondest hope to see the eye itself, but I fear this may be beyond my reach. You may think I'm strange, but I have a hypothesis that I may not be entirely alive. Perhaps my journey has reached its end. Even though the eye cannot be reached from here, the quantum moon remains special to us, as it carries us nearer to the eye than any other place we know. Suppose you could reach the eye of the universe, would you try to enter it? What do you imagine the effects of a conscious observer might be? We do not have much connection, you and I. Still, this encounter feels special. I hope you won't mind if I think of you as a friend. Thank you, Selena. Yeah, that was cool, finding an actual Nomaya is insane. Supernova proof shell. Supernova proof. How are we getting there then? <laughs> this thing... Literally the sun exploding is not getting in there. You expect me to get in there? There, there has to be some way to teleport in there somehow. Is this the core? This is the core. Right here. Do it! Do it! <laughs> I, <laughs> Those two warps right there are probably the twin warps, I would imagine. It's weird that there's two, right? Isn't that weird? If you're warping between the planets... Like, why would you even need a warp in the first place? But, oh my god, sun. Sun, 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 sun. Autopilot, why you do this? Why you do this? <laughs> On Ash Twin, wouldn't you just want one warp to go to Ember and then one warp back? It's it's suspicious. What if I try and time this so that it warps me before I get yeeted too far? We did it! <laughs> We're nearly ready to activate the Ash Twin project. Here's what will happen. First, the Sun Station will receive the order to fire at the Sun, prompting it to explode. Using the energy from the resulting supernova, the Ash Twin project will send the order for the Orbital Pro Cannon to fire back in time by 22 minutes. Exactly 22 minutes after these orders are received, the Sun Station will again trigger the supernova to send the probe data from this cannon launched back in time. In total, each cycle created by the Ash Twin project will last precisely 22 minutes. We can end the cycle at will. These words are difficult to write. The sun station did not work. You can wait for the sun to explode on its natural timeline if you prefer. Idea. But you'll need to find some way to halt our aging process. However, this is the closest we've ever been. The Ash Twin project is theoretically sound. We are only unable to power it. Perhaps there is another way. So... They... Couldn't get the sun. They were trying to get the sun to explode to power this, and now we're in. We're at the point where it's naturally exploding, and it's triggering the thing that they built like all that time ago. You're about to access the core while the Ash Twin project is active. Caution. Yeah, that's fine. Is 
did I stop the cycle then? Also, the world is ending, so we have to speed run this. All right, so we need to speed run this. Wait, what? <laughs> I I know what. Yeah, I understand what happened. <laughs> Perfect landing. Wrong, wrong, wrong button. Oh sh! <laughs> what just happened? Up. Up. <laughs> nice landing. Hooked it. I died? What? I ended the loop, technically, but not, not in a good way. <laughs> There's more to be done. Alright, here we go. We're going to the eye. We're gonna accomplish what the Nomai were trying their whole lives to accomplish. I think that was it. Wow, I have such a good memory, dude. Let's go. I guess I should leave the ship, right? My God. Ah yes, home. That's exactly where I thought I would go. Okay, this is just insanity. Are these galaxies? Oh, may have just yeeted an entire galaxy. My bad. Was that there before? The chair. Do you hear music? Oh my god. You had to jump scare me, dude. See? <laughs> Hatchling, you found me. Nice to have company around a campfire, isn't it? Go on, go get the others. Wouldn't want them to miss out. Selenum's here. A conscious observer has entered the eye. I wonder what happens now. Is it time to find out? Not yet. Then I will wait until you are ready to know the answer. Obviously, we got a marshmallow first. Nope. It, it, it needs to be a perfect marshmallow. The best marshmallow that ever was. Look at that. Now I'm ready. This song is new to me. 
but I'm honored to be a part of it. Should I begin? Oh, okay. I need to tell them all to play. reached the end of our journey. All that remains is to collapse the innumerable possibilities before us. Are you ready to learn what comes next? Yes. I admire your curiosity, friend. Let's find out together. Wow, how long has it been since I got to make music with everyone around a campfire? I'm really happy we're all here. I just match my velocity. <laughs> okay, wow. <laughs> what a game that was. Built a new universe. Yeah, that, that's what that seemed like. Our time is up, though. Fourteen point three billion years later. That's a nice time jump. Yo, look at the new planets. Oh my gosh. Yo! New life. Marshmallows are forever. That's that's what we can take from this game. <laughs> 